everybody, it's time. It's time for us to not uh, be bad anymore and to do uh, good things, which means I'm not going to random. So check this out. Here's my thinking. Run history. How do I how do I find out what covenants I've won with? <laughs> Logbook. There we go. So I thought what we should do is look at factions we've never won with as a way for us to to get to the next level. You know what I mean? Um, so, what would I think? I kind of I know we've been playing a lot of melting lately, but I kind of want to do an Umbra champion melting accessory run that was what i was thinking going into this one we've never won like this uh and i really do i mean the best the three best champions in the game you're gonna make me say it umbra champion uh with trample super powered rector stygian frostbite I'll, I'll, I'll say it okay i learned i learned the value of uh You kidding me, man? It's a great choice. Um, probably this one then. Uh, I learned the value of the of the Stygian champion. As long as you got a great tank in front of them to slow them down, it's no problem. I do not turn this one on anymore. Um, I think we lose too much pyre health to justify it right now. But I really, if you had to make me pick the best faction in the game. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so you're not getting toasted, which is very surprising to me. Let's, uh, more capacity should probably go to the floor with the least capacity would be my expectation. We're gonna put up some collector protection here. Um, if you had to make me pick the best faction in the game, I genuinely think that the best faction in the game, full stop, is the Umbra. And I'm not afraid who knows it, okay? I'm not. Pepsi bottle? Coca-Cola gloss? I don't give a dang. Let's uh, let's put you here for now. We're still not going to get the collector, but it is what it is. The thing the Umbra suffers from, and melting does nothing to compensate for this for the record, but um, the thing that, the melt, uh, yeah, 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 that melting suffers from a little bit is um, no direct damage. So we'll want like an Ant Umbra assault or something along these lines. At some point, I mean, if <sighs> now you're you're so much better off with this. What if you take a hit? Now we're almost killing him. I really think that that we're off to the races. Uh, we're extremely off to the races. Who would have freaking thought, dude? All right. So when you choose a faction, you got more skin in the game. Number one thing we're looking for is the Umbra. Is that life steal unit? Um, the Crucible Gorge Warden Collector. You know the one I'm talking about. I still think Mind Collapse is great. We'll want to upgrade it ASAP. I genuinely think none of these are necessary. Don't shoot the messenger. We want to see Umbra Unit, please. Yes. I see Umbra Unit. I say yes. The Alloyed Construct... They're both good. The Alloyed Construct is a little expensive, but it's also a little amazing. We're going to give you that bonus damage for now. Dude, I think we're going to give you the bonus HP because you got so much space. You got so much space, there's no reason not to give you the bonuses right now. So our dream on this one right now is remove literally every unit that doesn't define a floor. You're already given spikes. Spikes five? Honestly, nah. Now we're not going to do it. So if we could have a robot floor... A lifesteal floor and our champion, I would be, I would consider this beyond acceptable. I'd be thrilled. I'd be over the moon. Wouldn't be upset, tell you that much. All right, so at least that kills the front unit. It does create a problem where you're not going to be able to gorge and attack next turn. This is not a surprise, really. I mean, what did you expect? Lobster? Um, we should have a kill next turn, though. You're still doing all right. You're still living. You guys will die extremely easily if I summon you. <laughs> At least this kills one unit. Yeah. 
Um, you know what? I kind of like these guys getting out here just to put up blockers and then get that out of here. Like, we, we, don't want the, we don't want them in our deck. So the faster we can consume them, the better. Um, and you need to be able to attack much more than this. We should be drawing at least one uh, cool jar, which is what I'm going to take to calling that item from this point onwards. Which packed morsels. We should have actually played capacity up here, but... Okay, so work with me. You're gonna be gorging like a madman. More than anything, I think we'd like to remove your spikes. So we're dying on our first hit. So... I think we want that. I don't know. I don't know if that did enough to be excited about, but... It really all comes down to our to our robot being able to gorge, regardless. As long as our robot can gorge for enough to stay in front, we got nothing to concern ourselves with. Especially now with two lifesteal coming our way. Oh boy. You're already toasted him, so I wouldn't sweat that one. The only danger was running out of fuel. So to be honest with you, now I would I think a morsel master would be a would be a slapper. I think it would be a great slapper. I, I think an Ant Umbra Assault does enough. Though, though spooky, I still think Molded is great to bring a unit back or just bring back a morsel so we always have one available. Or hey, we have a good chance to have one available. This, we have so little money. We might as well peep our units here. And honestly, I thought Paraffin Thug actually did a pretty good job for us last time. Um, so Damage Shield 2 applied to Morsels is actually quite interesting, isn't it? Because you could block two hits and still gorge it. I'm going to say that's probably worth more than the Pyre uh, having armor. But I think the armor is still pretty good. Generally, I think the Pulley Claw tends to be a little bit better. Even though it's expensive, um, it lets the Pyre do the dirty work for us. I think, this, so far, I feel pretty good. It's not the right, quote-unquote, right version of the Umbra, but we're really just one unit away. If we get that Lifesteal unit and then more Morsel Enablers, we're pogging. Now, here's a question for you. What the heck do our... Uh, do our melting cards do for us? Well, it's complicated. <laughs> the answer is uh, definitely, for the time being, uh, sort of nothing. So I actually like the idea of getting a couple morsels out here. Just in case we get our robot next turn, they're already going to be out here. There's 20 gold for us. I have to remember that it doesn't have... Uh, it doesn't have uh, multi-strike by default. So I got to look at this for a second. This is really bad. 255. Five. I think we're going to live. So here's, here's what I think we do. I think step one, we don't give the damage shield to our robot. I think we give the damage shield to this morsel. Which will block this and then this. And then get hit here. Why are you... Oh, because you explode twice, don't you? So this is blocking blank, blank, blank. Then 10 damage is still coming in? No, because it goes in order. It's blocking this and this. Then this is killing you, and we're getting hit for 20. So literally, this should keep us alive with 5 HP. And then we're healing for 5, because we're gorging... We're healing for 5 somehow. <laughs> That's the important part. Um, get that Morsel Master out there, brother. And then you might as well start, I don't know, building a train store that does something. Oh, because it is lifesteal. That's why it's healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's far from perfect, but it's, it's okay for now. Our champion's actually doing a bang-up job. So, you have three fuel. 
Obviously, the most important thing is that you keep getting some more. But you don't have to get ones that buff you. We could buff our champion at the bottom instead. Honestly, I'd be more inclined to probably play this down here. And get this out of my deck. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't know why I thought about Jerry Seinfeld in Game of Thrones right there. George, I don't want it! He doesn't want it, George. <laughs> he doesn't want to be the king. He doesn't want to sit on the Iron Throne. What are you going to do? That's not really a good Seinfeld impression at all, for the record. So you're taking 16 damage. You want to see, do we get lifesteal? No. Um, why don't you pog up then? Oh, I forgot about the damage shield, dude! Anyway. Either way. Why don't you get out of here, block as much as you can block. We care not for our, our default train steward. So things don't look amazing on this floor yet, but we're gonna get there. You just gotta give it a second. So it's gonna look a little bit like... A little bit like this. And then this. And then three units come out. I don't mind if you take one damage. But we might as well... Four? I think it's worth protecting your HP to put that out there. I honestly do. Now, how you doing on fuel? You got three? I think we should just take you to five, quite frankly. I support it. As long as we pay attention to that damage shield, we're going to be better off than otherwise we probably would have thought in the first place. So, um... Basically, summoning literally any unit gives us... It's just a bummer, okay? So here's my thought process. If we summon this dragon, it has three damage shield. Alternatively, if we summon the dragon and then kill it, we get two morsels which we could use for more fuel. But I do think that... I'm stupid. I think that what you do is you put a train steward out here. It'll still block three hits. You're taking a lot more damage. You summon the dragon anyway. Ice it. Feel like one more damage shield. No, because it, it'll go on you. Ah, oh, but that actually buys us maybe. I, okay, I think this is worth it down here. It gives us another 50 damage. And then you can still get one fuel, and then we'll just put this on the next floor. Alright, good thinking. That's why it that's why it pays to take time sometimes, which I don't always do, I'll admit. Um, and then the molded, admittedly, you get burnout one off of that, which is not so great. So rather than put it on our champion, I think the best play is probably to just get another Morsel Miner going. It doesn't take too long for it to pay for itself. We, sh we should have done this in a different order, now that I think about it, because of the damage shield, but it is what it is. So we're doing five damage. That's something. Don't... I'm really... I'm guilty of having underestimated the damage shield. That in and of itself protects us from three hits. And then that, I don't know, that might have put like an extra 200 damage on the table. So this is really good. Um, I would still say, I mean, I, it's tough. Like, is Devour of, we didn't even get to play it last time. We haven't taken too many units. Does it work well? With our, yeah, 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 this is good too, yeah, 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 okay, that's what we, yeah, 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 So I think you don't want it as a tank. I think you want that and a gorge heavy unit on the same floor. Munch, 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 I'm getting stronger with lifesteal, I'm getting stronger with souls, and then when it explodes, it'll wipe out whatever floor you got it on, and then, I mean, reforming it is probably not that useful, but... I'm torn between energy and uh, capacity here. Because we have a capacity enabler and a capacity champion, I think we're going to go energy. We haven't run into capacity problems yet, but it could happen. We don't need an Umbra unit anymore. We do want to make our units stronger, though. So what do you got? A master is good enough. That's, that's maybe like the only unit I would have thought of uh, as being conducive there. Most important thing, you need to get much tankier. I think this is a quick reroll. 
I don't really see endless work in here, quite frankly. <laughs> I think we can make you this strong. I think we can. And then straight up. I mean, I want. <laughs> There's a lot I want to remove out of this deck. At least the dregs, you know, they only take up one capacity, and when they're gone, they're gone. So trample's really good. Um, but having not taken capacity, I think we kind of got to stick with Architect for now. It gives us extra capacity to play some units. Um, really, it all comes down to can our robot kill you? And I think the answer is no, so I'm not going to turn it on. This is probably, in my opinion, this is the most dangerous uh, possible trial. It's a really good turn to have four energy. Don't go. Donkey, 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 dunk, dunk, donkey, dunk. Remember, yeah, your first unit does get the multi-strike, but that's what we're stoked for. It would be nice to have more capacity on this floor, but this one just got hit with the negative, so, like, what do you want, right? We shouldn't have encanted on this floor, but life goes on. Alright, it's a good damage shield. Collector would be hard to hit, but we did get Mind Collector. Or Mind... No, Mind Collapse. Okay, so we know we want you on this floor. Um... You have two fuel. No encants on this floor. One of those things you should check, by the way. Um, we like you having the damage shield. So really, I think Morsel Miner does best on our lifesteal unit. You already get two for the price of one. You're pogging. As we're well aware. Um, I think Paraffin Thug honestly does pretty well on this floor. I hope. I mean, there's no place else for you, and you're good enough to play, so uh, we will do that. You gotta go. Fair enough. And I'm honestly like, so we could summon you to the top. You would still hit our pyre for six. I think it's better to just summon you to the top. It's not, we're not taking away the gold from our collector. We're just saving ourselves a, a lot of damage, quite frankly. And then you, you do best on a floor with many harvests. Which at this point, really is this floor. And then let me think about this. Lifesteal still works best on you. And then we can put, uh, probably... I, I would say you just get stronger, and then you take a damage shield here. There's no sweep units to watch out for. And then why don't you uh, go up to the front here, so that you just block a hit for me? Why don't you be a deer and just lay your life on the line for your team? Now, this feels so much more comfortable than many runs we've had recently. <laughs> um, so there's no point in adding one capacity here. We need more than one. So really, you would just add capacity here. I mean, it, it's a pretty simple uh, flow chart. But remember, your first unit gets damage shield. I would say this unit... To block a couple of hits is a beautiful situation. And then let's put a damage shield on our robot because we get two for the price of one up there. And... I'm honestly like, what do you, you give energy? I'm going to summon a dreg up at the front and then we'll actually get to devour that morsel anyway. That's a really good relic that I've consistently misused. I'm not afraid to admit it. So, the first unit you summon each turn gets gets a damage shield. I think we should put a dreg up here as a damage shield. And then we know that we want these to get eaten. How are you doing on fuel? Five? We'll give you two more. Why not? And then get out of my deck. So we're doing 146. It's not bad. We're going to kill one of you, which is going to help out a lot. Remember, your first unit gets a damage shield. I think we'll just do that. Now we're doing 228. We definitely want... With only... <sighs> You're so good on fuel. I think we just do that. Um... I don't think we play our train stewards anywhere. So we're doing 339 on the first floor. And the first floor is really the trash floor. 
So I am 0% sweating it right now. You're toasted, which is probably the smallest surprise of all time. This is starting to feel pretty good, right? This is starting to feel like the runs where we... On our last three, we haven't really gotten any traction at all. On this one, I feel like we're getting there. Uh, I actually feel like we take nothing. I think our deck is tight. That's not to say it can't get better. I think that Fatal Melting is actually very good, though. Um, I, I think that's very solid. Keep in mind, now that I think about it, if we made our... Soul Harvester, Devourer of Death, whatever it's called, if we made that endless... I think we could get up to some shenanigans. So I think spell upgrades and removal are nice. But for me, if we have the opportunity to really get those third spots filled on our units, that, that matters the most to me, I think. 25 health matters. It matters. Um, oh, we'd rather put it on a unit that's... Because it's going to take up a spot. We'd really rather give you another multi-strike. So I'm going to put it on the Paraffin Thug, which is not that strong, but it allows them to survive sweep. I don't know, maybe we would have been better off going with the Pyre, getting extra HP. It's still good, it's just not as good as it could have been. So I think, and it's close, but I think the Lifesteal on the multi-strike unit, or the multi-strike on the Lifesteal unit, rather, is, <laughs> is where we want to be. And we could give you 45 times 2, but 35 times 3... It's really not that much better, now that I think about it. You know what? Take take your extra 20 damage and get out of my face. Now, you could actually use some buffs now to get more gold, but I don't know if that's going to be relevant. So let's save our gold now, and we could really use that for spell upgrades. We have a lot that we want to upgrade, for sure. You are a sweeping unit. I'm not going to turn on the trial. Our pyre health is good, but I'm not going to turn on the trial here. I just want to make sure we have good pyre health for the second boss, which tends to be, like, one of the bosses that messes with us pretty badly. Um, so this, we love the damage shield. We like that. Because um, we're going to get 20 gold out of it. Just crunching the numbers. Why don't you take another damage shield? And why don't you take some more HP, and then we'll go Morsel Master, Magma Morsel. We'd rather have the Morsels live, but we know how we want the floor set up regardless, so this is, is sensible. Um, we're, we already have 12 damage out of this, which is kind of nuts. Who gets the damage shield? It's an interesting question. Magnificent. It doesn't have to be our robot. Uh, like, if anything, I actually feel like... It's weird, but I... Even though I don't think you're going to do any damage off of that, I think that that's our, our play. How on earth does that make any sense? And we just need to get you fueled up, obviously. Um... Because it blocks some meaningful damage on our champ. And we can always bring you back. Who gets the shield here? I would probably put it on the Crucible Collector. And now things get uh, uh, mighty interesting. I think you should get a lifesteal. You should get some HP. You should get some damage, because damage basically equals health for you. Um, now, in terms of capacity, actually, it makes more sense to have capacity on this floor. We could fit two more morsels. You getting torched saves our damage shield a little bit. And honestly, if you could just block one of the damage shields for our lifesteal unit, that's pretty solid. Everything's looking pretty okay. So we do have a good molded. At this point, I still have no idea if this is ever going to work. So you do three hits. Just work with me for a second here. We're looking for a morsel with three HP. We didn't get one. Um, so the first morsel is going to block two hits. We're going to put... Or the first unit is going to block two hits. We're going to put that on the drag. It's actually going to block three, technically. We're going to put lifesteal on our champion. We're going to bring back 
the Devourer of Death, which will burn out. Now that I think about it, this is not very good. <laughs> How much life? You only got one life steal. Let's keep you moving, but fuel is a concern. I think maybe it still did okay, but that wasn't what we were looking for. So you burning out is fine. Remember, we're looking for shields. Uh, like damage shields. So I think... It's, it's super weird. I, I think you go Antumbra Assault. Work with me on this one. Train Steward, because it comes out as a nice damage shield that doesn't burn out in one turn. Then... Uh, Let's go damage shield on on a robot, and let's have you get one of these. And then... You dying is good. We can't play this one, because it won't die. Which means it'll gorge this thing, which is not what we want. Um, we can play that just to get it out of our hand. So let's not play this anywhere. Yeah, let's not play it anywhere. I think we're playing this right, even though it looks goofy. And I, I understand the goofiness. Your sweep unit is, is a problem, without a doubt. So I would say... We can kill you pretty easily. So I would say your first play is... You get sucked up. You're still only... Because you have 10 turns of lifesteal. There's not much we can do on this floor. So I think a dreg to block some hits for your champion is always going to be good. And then, to go mano a mano with lifesteal, I think we just do this. How you doing on fuel? You got three. Should be okay for the time being. We knew that's kind of where this one was going to go. But at least we burned off your lifesteal. And then... 461. You're not going to have a damage shield, so it's not really worth even playing you here. We'll just give you the fuel instead. Hopefully you burn out, uh, after. <laughs> There's no real reason to summon anything else, because it's all going to get destroyed, but, um, yeah, hopefully... Did, did our burnout unit gorge? Because that's not what we're hoping for. I think it did. Luckily, we still gotcha, I think. It was close, because our, our our drag gorging almost killed us there, but instead we made it through looking, like, perfect. Whoo! <laughs> Is I got- you know, now that I think about it, there's something to this. I think we can put one of those in this deck. Um, I really don't think we have enough energy concerns to make that viable. So we got, like, a spell... Uh, we got a priority to upgrade spells, but it's not possible. Um, do we have space on any big units? I mean, to make our Paraffin Thug stronger is a priority. Is it as much of a priority as maybe getting a free relic, some gold, and duplicating something? I don't know what yet. I, I don't... Honestly, I don't think we need a dupe. So this is mostly for the relic. But this is, like, it's very spendy for no reason. So I, I think the Relic is probably worth it. Um, on Extinguish, apply Armor 5 to the front. It's really the only one we can roll, because we can't afford to have our, our stuff get all messed up by summoning units on the top floor, or the middle floor, I should say. Um, so we did just, we, we got packed morsels. I'm okay with it. Spell Shield 5 on... Uh, on statues matters not at all for us. We don't rely too much on big spell damage except for fatal melting. Okay, so you just, you know, use use your noggin. Is good. You're going to get a kill, which is worth 20 gold. Kind of incredible. Uh, you're going to come out here. Let's think about this. Lifesteal on your champ does pretty well. Why don't you get two of these? And then now that I think about it, it's just the fire truck coming to put out my plays. Um, you might as well. Well, this doesn't really buy anything for you, but it does make you quite prodigious. <laughs> we probably could have played you up at the front. That's that's one I'll admit there. I don't know if that would have done any more damage, but it's it's the sensible play. Um, so your first unit gets 
damage shield. We only have two units doing damage, so check this out. I think you definitely play it like that. Then, you're okay. You have an encamp trigger. Really don't mind if you just block a hit for me. And I really don't mind if you block another hit for me and then just die. And then get this out of my deck. We're doing some active thinning. It's a foreign concept in quarantine, but important nonetheless. Now, we need you out here. That's a gimme. And you having the shield is, you know, you're already the shield. So it makes perfect sense. Uh, dunk, 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 dunk. Everyone's doing fine here. Everyone's doing fine here. So I think start with this. And then just... The encant, dude. You, you can't be doing that. What's your lifesteal at? Two? And you're going to attack twice? Let's give you... Let's give you one more. Multi-strike does take two lifesteal off, I think. That's not bad. That pyre damage is not bad at all. Ask me how much I'm sweating it, because the answer is zero. First unit gets a damage shield. So who's getting bodied? You're getting bodied. Which, to me, means your first unit out should be the most valuable morsel for your champion, which is a damage shield, in my opinion. And they're still getting gorged. Then, we have so much energy. We, I was going to say, we must have a cool morsel. So let's get two cool morsels up on this floor. And then you can take these two. And we do have space for Ant Umbra Assault, actually. Oh, but we, we're not going to get a kill off of it. Unless... Damage Shield, Life Steal. Why don't we put Damage Shield on this floor? Life Steal on our champion. Do some fatal meow thing. And the Train Steward has no place to go. But this is really good. Armor 10 means little. Not nothing, but little. Now, Devourer of Death, we, we still haven't been able to do anything with. I think maybe this time the Devourer of Death works best on the bottom floor. But we really want to summon a Morsel with 3 HP or more. Not going to happen. Um, so I think we, we... I think we like this. This. And then, a, how are you doing on Lifesteal? Three? I think a single morsel. Oh, but you're going to live. So no, no morsels on this floor. Um, instead, we'll put Damage Shield Morsel on this floor. Magma Morsel on this floor. And if the drag could just take a hit, that's, that's beautiful in my world. And it gets it out of my deck. Got to be getting close to final wave territory. Making a lot of gold, too. Also, making my way downtown, walking fast, stations passing, I'm homebound. Tuck it to 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 tuck it Hold on, you don't have an encant, so let's dump this garbage. Um, so a damage shield? This time, I think you want, and trust me, this is gonna work. Give me a super life steal. Get out of my face, you big disgrace. Still don't think we play this train steward. How about you take one, you take one, and you just get yeet city. I, I, I knew that the pyre damage was going to happen, and I'm okay with it. I think it, it made the optics of the situation much better for us. Uh, this is not a great turn. I would say... I would say you do this. You get the drag. You might as well. No, it doesn't matter. Because this is going to have the damage shield. But lifesteal is more important than avoiding a little bit of damage right now. It goes drag for the damage shield. Morsel. Yeet the morsel. Right, fair. Get two lifesteal triggers out of it. Don't play the train steward. Now, we still got fuel on the guy at the top, but we need more. Morsels are, like, we, we could use more. Now, how you doing on souls here? You have one soul? I mean, you're going to have more by the time we get down here, but it's like the principle of the thing, you know? Um, so, we know we got damage shield up at the first unit we summon. 
So I think we do this. 346. Now that's good stuff. And then I'm looking at it and I'm like, who gets the more damage shield? It's the unit up at the front. Because that allows our champion to hit more, I think. Now you're doing fine. You're admittedly getting a little light on fuel. There's not much we can do about that though. So I think you just throw out Believe it or not, I think you throw that out to save a lifesteal trigger. Which is worth 82 damage, but also 82 HP. Well, we know where we're going here. <laughs> we're playing three Shade Splitters. And then, I'm like, okay, hold on. Two damage shield gives us something. And then you're gonna get eaten. I think you do it like this, like this. Five, that didn't change anything there, unfortunately. Is this robot capable of doing 574 damage or close to it? With with some pogged up damage shields, yeah. I, I think I think it might be capable. I'm also like maybe, if if only these units didn't burn out, dude. We'd be we'd be loving life. You get up to 11. It's surprisingly incredible. <laughs> oh, you dummy. You dummy, I beat you. Okay. Capacity. Still a viable concern. Remove all burnout and debuff. So that's not what we want. But it is tempting to know that it exists. Bounty Stalker Endless, I also do not think is what we want, believe it or not. Wretch, I don't think is believe what we want. And you're sapping? Is that what you do? You sap. I mean, I think we can wretch. It does give us a lot of morsels, and I do think our next step is energy. Capacity, we at least have some enablers for it. So what are we looking for? Probably at this point, making units stronger or spells. Units mostly for the paraffin thug, but we don't need that much gold anymore. Remove Consume, and it costs one more. That's a big packed Morsels play. 20 Magic Power and Consume. I think we actually don't mind losing Ant Umbra Assault after playing it once. Spell gets Permafrost. Um, I think that works okay on Wretch, although we will be casting it a lot. But if we draw it early, this saves us and actually maybe gives us some, some good utility. So this was pretty good, I think. Being able to play Mind Collapse for zero, it's a little late, but it's still good. Um, what do you got for me? So making a unit very small, is, is, is with our current capacity, I think is very nice. You probably would put it on the robot so you could fit more units on that. No, 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 no. On the robot. So you can fit more units on that floor. This seems right to me. I think it's a very good get. We have the capacity to afford the large stone, or whatever it's called, but... At this point, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go trample, but I always... I look at it and I'm like, you know, a hundred damage is... is really good. <laughs> We still will not turn this on. 400 coins is tough, admittedly, to pass up, but these guys have a lot of HP and they're generating multi-strike, which is really dangerous. Um, so we get two damage shield, very nice. Paraffin Thug will get a kill. So that's, that's good gold. Stopping you is gonna be not easy though. Honestly, why don't you just block a hit for me too? Um, so we're putting you up here so hopefully we can get the robot next turn. And he at least has the fuel to do some damage, if not get the kill completely. Um, so who gets the damage shield? Truthfully, I think we want the damage shield on a morsel at the front. But it should be trash. It should be the worst morsel. Which is this. 
That blocks a lot for us. We're not going to get to eat it, but that's okay. Then Crucible Collector gets to come out and... We'll just try to amp up your lifesteal as quickly as possible. You know... You're still not living, but it's it's pretty good. Um, we will put you out here. No one can't trigger, so let's just dump that. So the the, the units at the top are getting away. Our, our pyre is going to be very upset with us, but it is what it is. So I'm cool with our robot getting two damage shield here. We can't stop you, basically. Um, we need to find a way for you not to die. <laughs> Which probably runs through this. Um, you're no longer dying. We need you to have lifesteal then. You're already pretty good on lifesteal. You getting lifesteal is also extremely great. Which means you can take a little bit more juice. And probably you need the capacity. We were a little slow on this one, but there's, there's not a whole heck of a lot we could have done about it. And we didn't take that much pyre damage. As long as we can keep our champ alive, this is like, it's pretty good. Um, it makes the most sense if you die. Nobody's really eaten poorly here. Um, I just want to see what we get out of Molded. Another lifesteal unit is fine. I mean, just to be able to select it is good. So who gets the lifesteal? Honestly, our champ does pretty well with it. I think. Um, and then damage shield works very well on this. But then we should probably get one of these out there. What else we got? Morsel Maker. Morsel Maker does well on everybody. Let's, let's put two of those because they're very good. Three and three. We can definitely play one more of these. And let's just give you like a heavy lifesteal. Damage shield, not so much. The damage shields, I think, are worth more down here. We can't play four, so don't play Shade Splitter. And we've come a long way. Why don't you take HP and damage, and you take the damage. All right, this is... Uh, it's something. <laughs> oh, uh, Pog! We're off to the races, kind of. Always getting this Devourer late is no good, but... But it is what it is. I have long said that. Um, in terms of damage shield, to me it makes the most sense to play that, honestly. Just block all the damage. We get one Shade Splitter. You have seven fuel for Lifesteal. Let's get the Lifesteal. And we'll just put Devourer of Death on this floor. I don't think it's doing what we need it to do. Partly because I'm drawing it late, and partly because I'm probably using it fairly wrong. You don't sweep. So I do think you probably just play... If you can get a morsel with more than one HP, which we didn't. So I'm, I'm going to focus on... Making this run work long term, which means I shouldn't have summoned that up at the top. But okay, you know, it, it, it is what it is. We're doing 597. Don't summon anything else. You know what? The soul exploding unit is going to kill the multi strike enabler. Now that's exciting. You, I was going to say, you got a lot less going for you now. Although you are still uh, strong enough to stay in front of me, apparently. 385. 489. It's not like we can really do much else. Remember, uh, Steel Pulley Claw doesn't work on bosses. Wax Lips are immune to your charms. So you got, you got a lot of damage now, I'm noticing. You got, you're, like, pretty tanky. Like, do you work, work out or something? Like, this is pretty cool. Um, anyway, you're dead, which is pretty sweet. But I just want to make sure, like, we got, you know, as good as possible here. We could have done better, but whatever. We got gotcha, you. We got gotcha. you. That didn't go badly. Nah. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, it is pretty good. It's a pretty good one. What voice is this? I don't know. You got a problem? This is worth shopping in. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I still think these dregs are the worst. The train stewards, at least, usually the damage shield lets them live through one or two extra hits. I mean, packed morsels gets three uncommon or rare morsels every turn. That's lifesteal. It's morsel miner. Sap three is is bad, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so this, gotta focus. Pyre health is important, everything's important. Who comes out with the damage shield this time? Probably, this is a terrible draw, by the way. But it's also kind of an awesome draw. Um, because we did get units we wanted. Honestly, if you're gonna kill, you might as well just do that. And then you might as well just do this. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, that's right. When you die, you give armor. That's the other thing. I haven't been calculating that at all. Alright, so we need morsels. This is one of those ones that kind of irritates you, quite frankly. Because you're like, I have 70 cards in my deck that grant morsels. What's wrong with you? So I'm just, I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, okay, how much damage is coming out here? 85. <laughs> we could block 25 with you. And then you're not dying, which is at least a start. We kind of have to summon you. Even without any morsels, you have to get summoned. And then we put a paraffin thug at the back here. Um, I just need to draw a packed jar. That's about it. Um, and we, we got it, but it's still, like, every unit basically is dying. So it's, I'm a little upset, honest. I'm not upset like I'm going to cry, but I'm, like, a little mad. And I think it's justifiable. Our champion dying is really bad because they'll get burned out on, on the, well, I mean, but we have to keep you alive. I'm like, how are we going to keep you alive on this foot? It's just a freaking disaster, dude. Okay, so I think... One of you has to go up, but only if I can keep you alive otherwise to begin with. So there's five attacks coming out. We'll kill one, which will mean there's actually going to be... We could play this for zero. Not that we would ever do that, but... So Trash Morsel comes out. You're living. We also want you to gorge. We also want you to live, though. So if you're living, we don't have to go hard on this yet, but we do want to give you a lifesteal. Um, you also need a morsel. So let's just give you a few morsels, and whatever you get out of it, you get out of it. If, we, if I find the chance to give you one more, we'll do it, but... I think our champion has no choice but to die. Yeah. Now, believe it or not, I still think we do it like this. Believe it or not, I don't think it's the end of the world. I do think it's really bad. And I, I'm... Admittedly, like, I'm a little ticked off. I, I can't remember if I mentioned it 75 times or not. I'm a little ticked off. We have to start bringing you back, even though you have Burnout 1. The reason I'm a little ticked off is just because we really just needed morsels. If we got morsels early, the whole thing was going to fall into place. Instead, everything's a, a freaking disaster. Trash Morsel, please go up front. Uh, now that I think about it, hold on. Maybe go up front here. Now you're actually healing. 
And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Why don't you come out and put up some blockers for this guy? And we also get so much more capacity to work with you in the future. It's a bit of an advanced level play. I don't believe it. He's living. Um, this is the minimum of what had to be done to keep us in the in the race. I don't think it's going to be enough to get us the win. But you're living now. You're not. Dunka, dunka, dunky, dunka, 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 dunk, dunky, de dunky, dunky, dunka, de dunky, de dunka. <laughs> How about one of these? How about one of those? And then, by the way, how about one of these? And then freaking call me in the morning or whatever. But also, hold on. How about one of these? That way... We're still dead. But this time, we're going to die with our pyre. Um, which, in many ways, is better. I really like... I'm. I thought this run was great. And draw... I don't want to say it screwed us. Because we could have compensated for it by building our deck differently, maybe. But not drawing morsels early enough to stop the bleeding at the top floor really killed us. Quite frankly, in my opinion. It's not to say we played a perfect run. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps it a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. We're going to get it. 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 We're going to get it.